The holidays are here at the Home Depot, so let's get to decorating. Find your perfect tree in our huge assortment of shapes, sizes, and styles, like the easy-to-assemble Jackson Noble Fir, with pre-lit branches perfect for styling with all your favorite ornaments. Or the flocked Starry Light Fraser Fir, with over 1,900 pre-lit memory wire branches that keep their shape so it's ready right out of the box. Ooh. Find the perfect tree now at the Home Depot and enjoy free delivery on most holiday decor. Subject to availability. See homedepot.com slash delivery for details. Dear Toyota, I need a word with you about your crown family. Suddenly, I love traffic. Rush hour is my happy place. In the comfort of my crown, I feel on top of the world. This is strange though, right? The captivating Toyota crown family. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, it's Austin James. If you're like me, trying to live your best life while living with diabetes, you can relate to worrying if you're doing a good job managing your diabetes. I use the Freestyle Libre 3 Plus sensor to get real-time glucose readings and see the impact of every meal and activity to make better decisions. The Freestyle Libre 3 Plus sensor can help me live life with diabetes on my own terms, and it gives me more time for the things I love, like being a dad and a musician. Now this is progress. Learn more at freestylelibre.us. For prescription only, safety info found at freestylelibre.us. Are you ready to move your career forward? Make your comeback with Purdue Global and get college credit for your work, school, life, or military experiences. With these credits, you may have already completed up to 75% of your undergraduate degree. You've worked hard to get where you are. It's time to get the recognition you deserve and earn a degree you'll be proud of, one that employers will trust and respect. When you take the next step in your life and career, make it count with Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback at purdueglobal.edu. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about women who found themselves at the center of controversy, whether deserved or not. Today, we're talking about a legendary rock star who pioneered a new genre of music. She created a long-lasting legacy, embodying the sound of the counterculture movement and a progressive generation. Despite her success, her short career was pockmarked by extreme public scrutiny and an infamous ham sandwich. Please welcome Cass Elliott. Cass Elliott was born Ellen Naomi Cohen in 1941. She grew up in suburban Baltimore. When she was a kid, her father nicknamed her Cass, inspired by the Trojan prophetess Cassandra, who was known for her uncanny and accurate visions of the future. Cass herself was a big personality. Growing up in the wake of World War II, she loved to come to the dinner table with provocative questions. She often asked adult guests what they thought about the world situation. In high school, Cass earned a reputation for her eclectic style. According to her biographer, she sometimes wore wild combinations of Bermuda shorts and high heels with white gloves to cover her bitten down nails. Despite her bold looks, she was extremely self-conscious about her weight. By the time she was in high school, she'd been prescribed an appetite suppressant and tried out all sorts of fad diets. Cass convinced her parents to let her pursue her dream of working in theater. The deal was, if she moved to New York and didn't find a good gig in five years, she'd come home to do something more respectable. So she adopted a whole new name, Cass, her childhood nickname, and Elliot in honor of a friend who had died. And when she was 19 years old, she moved to Greenwich Village in New York City. She performed at a few off-Broadway productions while making a name for herself in the up-and-coming folk scene. For a short time, she was part of a small folk group called The Big Three. After The Big Three disbanded, Cass joined another group called The Mugwumps, which included two men who would eventually go on to help form the well-known folk rock band The Love and Spoonful. The group recorded one album together and then disbanded. By 1965, Cass had partnered up with one of her old bandmates from the Mugwumps and performed a musical quartet with two other vocalists, the Mamas and the Papas. Cass was rebranded as Mama Cass, likely a reference to her size, and her weight became a sticking point for the leader of the band, who reportedly didn't like Cass's look and almost didn't let her join the group. Not long after the band started, it blew up. Just within the five-year timeline Cass had promised her parents. The Mamas and the Papas were consistently at the top of the charts with singles like California Dreamin', which made it to number one on the year-end Hot 100. They also had other hits like the Grammy-winning Monday Monday and Dedicated to the One I Love. 
They performed alongside iconic groups like Jefferson Airplane, The Who, and The Grateful Dead. Behind closed doors, the band was experiencing some serious tumult. Substance abuse, romantic drama, and personal disagreements ran rampant. Cass was also often talked about unkindly in the press because of her weight. In some ways, she embraced the image and took it on the chin. In a sketch comedy routine she later performed on TV, Cass holds up a book called Oh, here, I read this one last month. Eat and lose weight. What happened? Well, I, I got as far as eat, and then I didn't understand the rest. <laughs> Though Cass faced a lot of public scrutiny, she continued to project her joyful and unapologetic energy on stage. Not only did Cass perform with the greats, she was friends with them as well. Her friendships with people like Janis Joplin and Joni Mitchell, and groups like the Beach Boys, earned her the title Queen of Los Angeles Pop Society. She's even said to have introduced David Crosby and Stephen Stills to Graham Nash, rounding out the iconic trio. After a brief fling with a touring bassist, Cass realized she was pregnant. And it happened right at the height of the band's success. In a radical decision for the time, Cass chose to become a single mother and parent her child alone. Though the Mamas and the Papas was a major success, the band disbanded after just three short years. Afterwards, Cass turned her attention to motherhood and a solo career. In the late 60s and early 70s, she would often appear on TV shows like The Tonight Show. She even hosted a few of her own primetime specials. She released five solo studio albums and had a top 40 single. Through it all, she continued to deal with blatant body shaming from the press and public. She tried to leave the nickname of Mama Cass behind her, as had always been a jab at her size. She even released a song titled Don't Call Me Mama Anymore, but it continued to follow her. In 1974, when Cass was just 32 years old, she died of heart failure. For many years, the public believed that she died from choking on a ham sandwich. It was later revealed that this was made up, and that Cass had likely fallen prey to years of substance abuse and unhealthy dieting. For some, the persistent myth of the ham sandwich cheapened her legacy and overshadowed her talent as a musician. Today, Cass's memory lives on. She was determined to succeed in an industry that shamed her for how she looked. In 1998, she was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Mamas and the Papas. As Cass once said, the unique thing about music is that if you are good, you can always create a place for yourself. If you're making good music, man, there's so much room. All month, we're talking about women of controversy. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Looking for excitement? Chumba Casino is here. Play anytime, play anywhere. Play on the train, play at the store, play at home, play when you're bored. Play today for your chance to win and get daily bonuses when you log in. So what are you waiting for? Don't delay. Chumba Casino is free to play. Experience social gameplay like never before. Go to Chumba Casino right now to play hundreds of games, including online slots, bingo, slingo, and more. Live the Chumba life at ChumbaCasino.com. BGW Group, no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. This message comes from Green Light. Ready to start talking to your kids about financial literacy? Meet Greenlight, the debit card and money app that teaches kids and teens how to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest with your guardrails in place. With Greenlight, you can send money to kids instantly, set up chores, automate allowance, and keep an eye on your kids' spending with real-time notifications. Join millions of parents and kids building healthy financial habits together on Greenlight. Sign up for Greenlight today at greenlight.com slash iHeart. With millions of books on Amazon, there's a reading feeling for everyone. For example, Raquel's Whoa! When she first entered the kingdom by Dragonback is different to Ari's Whoa! When he found out there was more than one crime scene, which is also different to Ava's Whoa! <laughs> the moment when the stable boy became a stable man. From Whoa! to Whoa! 
to Whoa. Amazon Books. That reading feeling awaits. Vitamin water was born in New York City because New Yorkers needed a drink that can do it all. Because we can do it all. Like walk 30 blocks in under an hour, follow four of the city's sports teams at once, and spend all day in the Chinatown Arcade. Drink vitamin water. It's from New York.